Hi Water Signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see why is it that you're not able to let them go, release them here. Um, you know, what keeps you still attached or holding on to this person, this romantic energy? This is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. Otherwise, guys, let's take a look and see what the cards here have to say as to why you're not able to let them go or move on from them. Okay, so what is it that still keeps you attached to this individual here? Um, you still care about this person, okay? Whether or not you care to admit this to yourself, you still care about... You still care about this individual, this energy here. Now, given the amount of swords that has shown up in your reading, I also feel like there's an element of pain that is involved in this situation with this person okay and to me what keeps you holding on to this person what keeps you holding on to this energy or this particular situation is the pain that it caused you now maybe this is someone who just knew how to push your emotional buttons and you know get a certain emotional reaction from you maybe this is someone who triggered you emotionally okay maybe it's things that they said or the way that they carry themselves, the way that they've treated you here has brought up certain emotional issues for you, emotional trauma or certain emotional issues that you never seem to have properly worked through. Okay, there's a lot of pain. For some people, pain is a sense of normality. Okay, for some people that grew up in a painful, in a very toxic environment or who had a very painful upbringing or people who had, um, say for instance, they've had a lot of experience, a lot of hurt, heartbreak, just a lot of pain and emotional anguish in their relationships. It kind of sets, for them, it kind of sets the expectations, even though it's not healthy here, but people are complicated, right? It, they're never simple we're all complicated creatures and even though it sounds unhealthy but they kind of set the expectation or future expectations that relationships have to be painful okay love needs to be painful love needs to hurt love needs to break they're so accustomed to this notion and they're so used to it that they will purposely seek out individuals who hurt them or they will purposely seek out toxic um, you know, toxic energies, toxic situations, toxic relationships, just so that they could become a part of what on some level feels familiar and comforting. And what keeps you attached is the pain, okay? What keeps you holding on is the fact that this person has hurt, has hurt you a lot. They may have caused you so much pain, so much heartbreak. They may have emotionally triggered you in more ways than one from what I can see. Um, they may have heard or said things to you that unfortunately you have not, you've never fully processed or you've never fully dealt with this. So a part of you is still holding on to the pain that they've caused you or the pain that they resurfaced in your energies and that's what's keeping you holding on. So if you want for them to release you or if you want to release them, you're going to have to sit with the pain. I know it sounds painful guys and I know it sounds uncomfortable but... I don't know it probably sounds quite cliche as well you know forgive someone or let go of the pain and release them but that's what you're going to have to do um, I can't give you a time frame I can't give you a time stamp as to 
how long that might take you. Everyone's journey is unique. Everyone's journey is individual. It's all different. It may take you that much longer or that much shorter than the next person. This is your own unique individual journey here. So you need to heal past pain, past hurt. They may have brought out certain insecurities as well. And even though this person has hurt you so much, you still care about this person. I can see that in your energies. And it to me, it feels like you want the best for them, even if that doesn't necessarily involve having you or having them in, you know, in your future here. You still want the best for them here. They've overstepped certain boundaries. And I feel like throughout your connection, this is someone whom you felt as if you constantly had to fight for their love or fight for their attention. Or you constantly had to, it's almost like you had to prove yourself to this person. Okay, the right person will know your value and you won't have to convince them of that. Okay, so that in itself is a huge indicator that maybe you were in the wrong relationship. However, I do feel like the wrong relationship has taught you a lot of things that you need to correct about yourself, about your pain, your insecurities here. There's also a truth that they've spoken to you, which I feel like has been very hurtful for you to hear or hurtful for you to um, receive. Okay, it feels like they may have... And look, with this person and this energy, maybe your communication styles were very different. You know, maybe you were two very different elements that didn't really complement each other in the end. And maybe they, the way that they spoke here, it's like they, we they were weaponizing their words. It's like sometimes they felt the way, the way that they would communicate with you, sometimes it would feel like maybe they spoke down to you or they were very condescending. Um, and you've sort of latched onto that hurt and you've latched onto that pain. But a lot but I think a lot of why you tolerated this is because as I've mentioned, you know, at the start of the reading, for a lot of you it's you've dealt with so much pain in your life that you grew so accustomed to it and that kind of set the expectation for all future relationships. So in order for you to really release this person, you're going to have to release the hurt and the pain that you keep holding on to. And only then, once you sit with the pain, once you confront the pain, once you feel the emotions, yep, that's right, you're going to have to feel those emotions. You can't block them, which is what you've been doing, okay? Which is what's really preventing you from letting go. And look, maybe you're not ready to let go. And if you're not, no one can force you, okay? No one can tell you otherwise. If you're not ready... Even if your logic tells you that, you know, letting go is the right thing to do and moving on. But if you're not ready, you're not ready. And you know what? So be it. There's nothing wrong with that. So don't be so hard on yourself. But if you feel like you're on your way to, you know, releasing this person, releasing this pain, releasing the energy here, the situation, you're going to have to unblock, okay? Unblock some of these blockages that we're seeing in your energy and for some of you it it will mean having to communicate with this person and confront this person Okay, tell them how much they've hurt you tell them what's on your mind here um, Get it out of your system because for so long you've been suppressing something that it's very deep inside your subconscious And it's what's preventing you from healing. It's what's preventing you from moving forward and releasing this energy So you're going to have to confront your and sit with your own pain here Will it be uncomfortable? Yeah, absolutely. Is it necessary? Absolutely. Okay. Um, will it be healing? Of course. You do have a choice to move forward. And only after you look back can you then move forward. Because you need to look back and heal some and learn from some of these, um, you know, mistakes or some of these um, lessons. That's what they were, lessons. You are burying a lot of this deep inside your subconscious. And I don't think a lot of you are even fully consciously aware of how much hurt and, you know, how much you're holding on and clinging on to this individual. Yes, because a part of you cares, but I do think you want to release this person. So why are you fighting it? Why are you fighting yourself? Why are you fighting your emotions here? Okay, you need to first of all connect with your center you need to find an emotional balance here okay because at the end of the day you know what you know you know your own truth and i can see that there's a lot of hurt or pain that you're suppressing deep inside your subconscious it's running around in your subconscious the pain the trauma the hurt of it all and that's what keeps you attached to this person okay that's why you're not able to let them go because subconsciously, 
you're attaching yourself to this individual how can you let go of something that you're holding on to you'll have to unravel your fingers here if you want to let go right but baby steps and I think you'll know when the time is right for you here you'll you'll feel when you're ready to let go and release this person's energy you'll know okay and you're quite an emotional intuitive sign when you know you'll know and there may be synchronicities all around you there may be no such synchronicities at all but it will just be the feeling that you will get and that sense of readiness all right guys and these are your messages thank you as always for watching and listening please share support by liking sharing and subscribing to the channel bye for now